We are in Jordan, Amman, Jordan, which isn't a place I ever thought I'd go, but I've gone and I'm here. And we are trying to find the sixth and final crude character who is representing war. And uh, because we don't want to go to Iraq, because it's far too dangerous, uh, we decided we're going to find an Iraqi war widow here in Jordan because there's half a million uh, refugees here. So we only got here two days ago, but we've met up with Khalud, who is no doubt going to star in this making of film. And she is an unbelievable person, 26 years old. She's already done a million things, um, got her whole family kicked out of Iraq for being rebellious in various different ways. I've forgotten what she, said, what she did actually. And um, so we are basically trying to find an Iraqi war widow by, we've been wandering the streets, talking to women who are selling cigarettes and stuff. We're gonna go to nightclubs to try and find people who are working as prostitutes. And we've been going around loads of different families and asking um, the terrible question that we always ask, which is basically, has anybody here been raped and speak English? But in this case, it's, has anybody here lost members of their family to the American invasion, American and British invasion? And uh, that's it. We're, we're in that nasty stage where we don't know what the hell we're doing and we haven't found anybody, but it's only day two, so it's feeling okay. And this is our, this is our gorgeous taxi driver, Mohammed. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Now, I want to ask you, hmm? you see your Good eyelashes? Evening. Your eyelashes? Uh -huh. Is this real or is this fake? What? Um, this. Uh -huh. Did God give these or did you buy from a shop? No. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm this, this. Uh-huh. This is my... Uh, it's... it's uh -huh. Where did you get it from? Did you buy it? From where? Me? How many JD for this? This? <laughs> uh, this is my family. Uh, all my family. Yeah? Heck, yeah. Have you got a nice close-up? Check out those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to entertain five uh, women who don't speak any English. <laughs> and um, I think... Salam. Salam alaikum. I think in the hotel they're causing a bit of a stir. Be because... Because... They are, they are considered to be a kind of homeless woman living on the street. And so we've got them in the hotel foyer and they've, they've all started smoking, which I think is basically saying to a, if a woman smokes in the society, it's like she's a prostitute or something. So they're all smoking and um, I'm trying to entertain them with no English whatsoever. Can you ask them what do they think of us? Ask these ladies. Yeah, ask them. Clue? What did they say? You are good. We're good. good. Yeah. Not crazy. No, no. How could you age? But then, the funniest thing that happened in the hotel was uh, there's loads of tourists around in the hotel, like men, obviously. And a white man walked past with only his like boxer shorts on and no top on, and all these women are just like. <laughs> It's an instrument of torture physically, apart from, never mind the mental thing. You look quite good, do you want to look? Okay, you still look pretty white. Ah. <laughs> It's why. Right. Oh, he's a lot of stuff. Hey, it suits you. Yeah, yeah, that's a fear, I'm a 